It's England v Iceland. Is it time to get nervous? Or should we expect an easy win? It's nearly time for kickoff. And Rami Sterling has been put in the squad instead of Adam Lalana. Will he shine today for England? England sticking with the 4 4 3. It's going to be in hopefully a comfortable 90 minutes for England. You know, with England a lot, it could be nervous tension. Sponsored by Turkish Will we have a penalty shootout? And of course, as you know, there hasn't been a shock yet in the last 16. Let's just hope England. Different strokes, are different not styles, the shock. different strengths. Iceland feel the same team for the fourth game running. They will play the same way. Unfamiliar names may be, although players from Charlton, Swansea and Cardiff in that lineup. Yeah, England I'm starting six to feel very changes. nervous. The most surprising may be a recall for Raheem Sterling ahead of Adam Lallana. I've got to say, Danny Rose and Cole have Walker had a clear week, two have days been more preparation absolutely and superb rest time for England. than their opponents. The England plan is to play with width and stretch Iceland. So England are going to play with width and we're going to stretch Iceland. And of course, we do know we haven't scored one goal in three games in the first half. And we've not won a game on foreign soul in a Euro. Let's change it tonight. And England have kicked off. And that will be a throw in to Iceland right in their own half. Anybody thinks it's going to be a comfortable victory. Oh yes it should be. And it's up to England to make it a comfortable victory. It will be Italy and Germany. Wales v Belgium and Poland v Portugal. Who's going to play Rose. France? Is Aaron with a Here and England on the attack. Can we get an early goal? No. Gunnarsson in the way. And the familiar figure and of Gilfie Sigurdsson the Salty forward. City can bring it away. Up to Bobberson. There shouldn't be too much problem for England to win the ball back. Germany and Belgium both won by... So, into England. In the last 16 year, yesterday, both scored in the first 10 minutes. England haven't scored a first half goal, let alone an early goal at these championships yet. It would make such England a playing from the back. It's an encouraging sign, though. There, and when England get the ball forward, that defense didn't put the best of crosses in, but uh, also you identify the two central midfield players for Iceland. They were right in on that penalty spot. So many bodies in there. The Sturridge trying to provide some width. Here goes Sterling. Alley. Here's Sturridge. Here goes Sturridge. And it's a goal kick to Pitches. Iceland. You're going to play a little better than it looks. It does look patchy. You've been down at ground level, Glenn. It was running pretty true in the warm ups. Ooh, that was it was close wide, yes. Yeah, so very close to the players in the warm ups, and the ball was uh, being shifted very quickly. It wasn't bobbly. It wasn't getting. It wasn't a sticky pitch that they had against Wales. So uh, it doesn't look that great from up here. But I think it could play better. Cyberson's header. Turn away by England. Turn away by Cahill. Really? Nerves are jangling. Early goals set all those nerves. Go on, England. Could this be the first goal? Go on, shoot. Oh, come on, England. Uh, Sterling can't do nothing with it. Comfortable defending for Iceland. Oh. Really important. Get that ball to Harry Kane. And Camp, the ball's no back now with Joe Hart, who rolls it out. Come on, England. Here's Sterling, with an Sterling. he's got us. Is that a penalty? 
penalty to England. That's not a bad start, but we have to score it. Oh, what a start of the three minutes. Sterling through. Yeah, definitely a penalty. Could the keeper have done better? Yeah, maybe the Icelandic kid could have done better. So, who's going to score this penalty for England? It's our captain, Wayne Rooney, the all-time England goal scorer. Come on, Rooney. Make no mistake. Let's get this goal. Let's take the Go on, Rooney. Come on. Yes! 1-0 to England. After just three minutes. Oh, that will relax the nerves. Within the lead, our first goal in these Euros in the first half. A penalty after just four minutes from Wayne Rooney, the captain, the all-time top scorer for England. That's really relaxed me. I'm sure that's relaxed a lot of you out there. Superb penalty from Wayne Rooney. He has his critics. His 115th cap equals David Beckham's record tally for an England outfield player. It is his 70th competition international tonight. And that so is a the game's back on Iceland kicking Stephen the ball Gerard. up the field. It's a record that has been marked by his sixth goal. The and there'll be a throw in to Iceland. And uh, in total, his seventh England tournament goal. Iceland now on the back foot, but let's not give them a goal back. A make a mistake, it's going to be a long throw here by Iceland. Can we deal with it? Oh, you're... I don't believe it. What? Anybody out there can believe this. It's 1-1. Oh my god, England have conceded straight away, gifted a penalty, oh, but from a long throw in, dreadful defending, and Iceland poke it home with an equaliser, what? oh my god, oh it is going to be one of them nights, isn't it? What can we say? England at the lead for less than what a minute? Unbelievable. Look at the joy of those Iceland supporters. Now England have to do it all over again. Propulsion into the England box. It was Signerson for Iceland after six minutes. So England got to do it all again. They had the lead. Unbelievable. But of course, this is England. England. Can England get the lead straight back? That'll be a goal kick. Ali unable to do anything with that ball. Oof. Of Iceland lost Slogger back on the left, Heimer Hargrimson on the right, who will take over the reins after the tournament. Not showing any emotion. Iceland kicking the ball up the field. Still with Iceland. This is Goodmanson. Goodison, what's he going to do? Not a lot. England not. Oh, they've got the ball out. And thank you for that link to watch the England match, but it's live on ITV. Go to itv.com. You can watch it live it there for free. Anyway, back to, to the match. It's already unbelievable. It's also part of a style of football that we're not seeing. That our players are probably Chris Smalling on the ball now. Is the only player that's been used to this in this generation. You don't in our Premier League. Chris Smalling. Long throws. 
this is what I said before the game, Iceland are still sort of stuck in that 80s mode. And it, we haven't defended oh, that. Teams don't have to defend it in, in the Premier League or in national football. And we've been caught. Mm. And Harry Kane ain't getting to that. Kicked out by the Iceland goalkeeper. It'll be a throw into England. Red and heard a lot about Iceland's defensive approach. It's fact, not opinion. 35% ball possession in their three games so far. The lowest of any. Come on, England. Of the finals, pick the lowest number, passes, lowest number of goal attempts, lowest number of corners. But 15 teams have gone home already. Iceland haven't. And that's also a fact. They've got something. Come on, England. Come on, Sterling. Sterling wins a free kick. Yeah, just got caught there, didn't he, Sterling? But it was good to see Rooney go out wide. You know, there was one but Sterling comes in to receive the ball. Nice little bit of skill. Just gets kicked there. Just got, gets caught by Gunnison. But, but Rooney was the good one who went out wide. So it's definitely been planted in the player's mind. Cahill's done in the box. Long with Cole Walker. It's going to be Eric Dyer. Is it going to be Rooney? Rooney takes. Hmm, not a bad free a kick, but nothing happened. Back with Rooney. Dyer. Come on, England. Come on. Oh, come on, Sturridge. Oof. I didn't think England would score so quick in this match, but I didn't think we'd give the lead away so quick. And they want to go for that bowl. Sturridge. Sturridge plays it back to Cahill, to Smolin, to Rooney. He brings the ball back to Sturridge and Walker to Sturridge. Sturridge plays it back. Need to get his ball forward. No good playing it small in. They're trying to find some variety in their oh movement, trying dear. to shift and move the Iceland cover. The Iceland defence looks really well organised. So England have to unlock it. And Cole Walker is looking for somebody, but he's found no one. Back with Rooney. Membio in the bowl for Iceland. Oh, come on, England. Oh, that's oh, good defending from Iceland. Oh, back to Sturry. Oh, come on, Abby Kane. Corner. Good patient play there from England, keeping the ball. Just waiting to see which man's on, which one's going to hurt Iceland. And uh, good. hopefully Kane is not in that the corner. We want him in the box. Over to Rooney, you take the corner. The corners have been a little bit of a disappointment for England at this tournament so far. This Halverson is not the tallest goalkeeper in the world. We've got Sturridge in the box. I'm in a good delivery. Come on, Rooney. Good delivery. Let's get this back to 2 1. Come on. Swings in. And no one there. Still back. Come on, England. No Ali. You have to play it in the box. Back with Rose. He plays it to Ali. And it goes out for a throw in. You know, he comes in and wants to attack it, as we said, they, they go zonal and as defenders and attackers, you're allowed to get that run on them and uh, I thought he should have Rose had it back. No good but throwing it back to Hart. Come on, Rose, up you go. Really, 
Lily Bacter come on England. Small structures, I think, from Ray Lewington is right on the edge of the technical area. Keep the ball moving. And he's right as well, Clive. You know, when you go across the back sometimes, if you can do it in one touch, two touch, the ball's going back too many times. And, uh, at times we just do it too slowly. Oh, he's played the ball. Could be offside. Oh, can he get the ball? Oh, just kept it in. Come on, England. Back to Rooney. Rooney's having a good game. Come on, help Rooney out. Come on, Paul Walker. Walker was taken late and found Kane. Come on, Kane. Another corner for England. The second corner here with Rooney. I think when they're playing zonal and they're pretty good at defending set plays, I'd like to see an England player go out and join Come on there. Good Just delivery from out. Wayne Rooney. Everyone attack the ball. Let's get the lead back. Rooney it's in. See that's Headed gone out. In no, it's still in. Oh, no, and I do. Can he go wide? Oh, that's well wide. Just swinging away from the target, but a meaty strike from Deli Alley. That was a good strike. That's a good try for Mali, but it's gone over the Drops it down bar. quickly so he can get his shot off. Lovely technique, just oh, too it's high. worth a try, I suppose. Again, a good corner from Rooney. We keep the pressure on, keep it in the penalty area, and if you it ring was the always edge of the area, going up and over. And England sort of starting to dominate Iceland, but Iceland defending pretty solid. It's a foul. Oh, come on, Sturridge in the box. Go on, take it. Oh, went straight to an Iceland defender. Iceland are going to try and bring it out. But we've got long straight back. Walker. Sturridge. Back to Walker. That's going to nobody. Iceland going to bring it out. Well in. Rooney. Good win that by Walker. And they played out to Ali sometime. Back to Rooney. Come on, get the ball okay. forward. Sterling. Go on, Sterling. No, nothing. Is Harry Kane again? Shoot, shoot. On England. <sighs> 60 minutes gone. Harry, we've seen him them England are dominating possession, corner, but not quite in enough. Down, not Clear goal scoring opportunities. When <sighs> really scored. You know, I started feeling pretty confident about how quickly were those nerves back. How quickly did we lose that all-important lead? We need to make it 2-1 again, and it's all the way back to the goalkeeper. Sterling definitely could do better. Should we have brought Jamie Vardy on? Almost in. No. Oh, it's not good throw into Iceland. I'm starting to feel butterflies. Kennison's going to take this throw. I don't think he can quite get to the penalty area from here. But even here, going to be another long, long throw for Iceland. He launches it. We win it. And it's headed away. Come on, England. Iceland looking to attack England. Iceland no, have already been shown there is a way. It's one of those things you can't afford to give throw ins away. Oh. He set up a chance here for Sickerson. 
Oh, you're unbelievable. Oh, my God. And I said make kick 2 1. Oh, my word. Now, Joe Hart should have saved it, Shindy. Oh, it's all going pear shaped. Oh dear. Oh my god. It's poor defending this from England. It's not even a. Oh, come on. It's not even a good shot, is it, from number nine? Oh, how has Joe Hart let that in? 80 minutes play. Read this scoreline. England 1, Iceland 2. To England taking the lead on four minutes. It took Iceland two minutes to equalise and 12 minutes to get the lead. Unbelievable. Oh my god. So England now having to come from behind against Iceland. Here's Harry Kane though. Okay. Well, those players out there have been a little bit of shock. There's no doubt about that, but they've got to regroup. There are chances. There are going, there's going to be <sighs> opportunities to score, I'm pretty sure. Oh, um, my. I don't know what the hell is happening here, but it's England playing. England, of course, dominating majority of the game, but it's Iceland with the all-important goals. Come on, England. We've got one person watching. Hello to the Black Ox Gamer. England now crying to now get an equaliser against Iceland. And it's Ali out of position, but he's not going anywhere. Back the Sturridge, Cole Walker. Cole Walker not. Oh, Cole Walker playing it all the way back. Oh my God, Rooney. Dyer going no, and Iceland. Mm. Well, it's back with Rooney. We are going. Well, we was going forward, but we've lost the ball again. That was a foul, wasn't it? It's gone through the back of Sterling. And it forced him to play it's the been ball a free play, kick. That was a free kick England to England. Now, every single one of them have got to be brave on the ball. They've got to be brave with their passing. They've got to want to receive the ball still. Come on, England now. And break this uh, difficult the ball straight down. into the area. And let's get this goal back. Oh my god. Can England get the equaliser? It's the corner. It's a corner to England which Wayne Rooney will take. And I'd just like to say congratulations to Iceland on your 2-1 lead. You went behind, but you've come back and you've scored the goal. So, at the moment, it's congratulations to Iceland. Bowling from Rooney, and oh, nobody there again. Iceland clear up field. Here's Danny Rose. He hoofs it upfield. And, and Cahill not really going to do much in that position. He's a defender. Could Iceland and make it 3 1. I don't. Since swinging, and it's going to be a dangerous throw in. As you've seen, Iceland can launch these balls into the box. So we've got to be on our toes. Let's not get caught out in game. So England, Iceland going to go for that long throw. Going to be a dangerous long throw. It goes in. This time it's dealt with. 
A long ball in from Iceland. Oh! Oh! Fires over anywhere. England don't have a free kick. Now, me a scommoner, incidentally, of Slovenia is the referee tonight. Yeah, Sigurdsson there with his left arm goes above Hart and fouls him, but uh, on them long throws there, I'd like to see one of our smaller players as a release man. That ball's come out, but it's come straight Another back. Another nervy moment from England. The pressure. Let the big guys deal with the... Uh, I'll say with Arsenal, the if they would have scored that third goal, that would have been a bit harsh. Just as Joe Hart did get to the again. ball first, before the Iceland player he was going for the ball. So it's England after 23 minutes of the taking the lead. We've got to get an equaliser against Iceland. And I was right to be nervous about this game. Oh, well, what can you say? 2 1 down to Iceland. And England put it out for a throw in to Iceland. This is where we need the captain. So who should we bring on James Vardy? Well, it's got to be James Vardy. And do we take off Sterling, who has not been very effective in this game? And I, oh, come on, England. We're running out of ideas all the way from Carl Walker. To Joe Art. Joe Art's going to play it out to Danny Rose and he's going to play back to God, Joe Art. It's not good, is it? Alright, back oh, with Cole Walker. The old Cole Walker now. England playing a bit out of position. Yeah, from that distance it is, and uh, he had it set with the instep, and it was going to always go away from Walker. And Iceland in the road half with number six. He plays a long ball, and England win the header, and that will be a throw into Iceland. thinking this is an unbelievable scoreline, it isn't really. Iceland have had two shots on target and they have scored both goals, actually only two attempts on goal. So from Iceland's point of view it's been a very, very good game. From England we've only had the one shot and that was the penalty from Wayne Rooney. We haven't really created a game, we're not creating enough. And here go England on another attack. Got the Rose. Sterling gain has got to do better than that. And that'll be a goal kick to Iceland. Sterling, you could have done a lot better than that. Good Montanese. Could it even win? Sterling I mean, he should at least be able to win a corner. Because from Iceland are playing with their two strikers up, and, and defensively, they're not. One of them's not really dropping in. Dyer has got to stay in that midfield area for me and run the show. He's spare all the time. We just saw Rooney play a ball to him. And I've got to say, England are playing playing out of position the quite a lot of the time. He, he can run the the game from that central midfield position if they get the ball into it. Iceland with a throw in. Just inside their own half by the Nice sign. A long, a long throw down the line, which England have actually dealt with. And we really nice. want to throw in, but we've kept it in. England on the run. Ali now got the ball. It's a through ball for Sturridge, but he has to get it back in the box. Oh, he's just about kept it in. And Harry Kane shoots straight at the keeper. Easy save. Corner to England. Oh, I think Harry Kane could have done a lot better with that. I'll give it as a good save by the Iceland goalkeeper. 
Now Ken Wayne really put a good delivery in. Chris Smolin is also now winning the box, I suppose, with Gary Cahill. Rooney with, with the in swinger. It's punched out. Can we put it straight back in? No. Back with Rooney. It's in the danger zone, but the goal. Come on, England. Good play from Sturridge, isn't it? He's got him behind, picked out a lovely pass to Kane. Really good volley. Left and right side of the keeper, and he's got a better chance. Will France be fearing Iceland? Our France actually not really bothered to go get in the next round. <laughs> Of course, France winning yesterday a tricky match against the Republic of Ireland, but they came through. And the game has sort of gone the same way as the Republic of Ireland game. Ireland winning the penalty, taking the lead, but France came back to win 2-1. History repeating itself at the moment. Come on, England. Get the ball in there, run it in there. Come oh, on, play for each other. Oh, it's poor. And Danny Rose just puts it, hits the Iceland player and it's back into the hands of the keeper. That's not good. We need to step it up. No, Iceland are defending very deep, very well in the final third, but England not really opening that um, final third, not really creating enough. Oh, we don't look good again. It's just the same old story which it has been in this tournament. England with the ball but not able to control. Oh, come on, Ali. Ali trying to win us a penalty, but he was never going to win that one. Can't see it for Iceland. And Iceland have got another throw in. Oh, that is poor from Ali. Going to make the foul. So here comes a long throw in. in liking, but, uh, right on the halfway line. Really, uh, and this one's going to be launched. And England win it, but Iceland win it straight back. Now England have a chance to break, but they pass it straight back. What are England going to do here? Not moving forward quick enough, they're still in their own half. Oh, come on, England. They mustn't allow desperation to set in. They'll know in the backs of their minds how well this is going down. Oh, the England now leading the final the way of getting through the Iceland defence. Great and real goal scoring opportunities. They haven't done enough in this half. In Took them a while to equalise. May just take a while to recover from the double blow of losing two goals to Iceland. Here goes. Here goes Sterling. Good recovery by Cyber. Good defending from Iceland. Sterling not playing Sporting well. Oh, there seems Rose such an unbalance to this England team. One back by Sturridge. Here's Harry Kane, just couldn't quite gather it in. Remember Iceland, of course, frantic. won their group him, in qualifying, it? knocking out Giannis Holland. And he's got support too. And in the uh, group stage, drew to and beat Austria. Sigurdsson. This Giannis. Iceland team do not give up. Butterson. And England are giving Iceland so much confidence in this game. Iceland throw equals danger. Of course, we saw last night Germany comfortably just throwing Slovakia out of the tournament, and Belgium showing their class by 
totally destroying Hungary. For Germany, it's going to be pretty hard. They don't have a good record against Italy in tournament football. Ooh, that is close, my friend. And Belgium now do not they could go all the way. It's not a bad a shot for Iceland, is it? Number 23. I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> England sort of lost their shape, haven't they? Here comes, here comes Gary Cahill bringing the ball up. Oh, that's gone out for a throw in. Well, I've got to give it to England. They never fail to disappoint, do they? Did anybody think it was going to be a victory for England tonight? Rooney with the ball. He's weighing his half. He plays it upfield. There's Carl Walker, but he has to play it back. Dyer to Sturridge. Oh, come on, Sturridge. Oh, that's poor. And Iceland, they're in their own half, but could they counter-attack? No, but they can do that nasty long ball or look for a throw-in. Well, we got a throw-in. Are we not going to do anything with it? Come on, England, in the box. Come on, England. Show some grit and determination, Wayne Rooney. Well, it's not brilliant, is it? Yeah, it's good to see him in a more forward Wayne Rooney there. Oh, that is cool. Well, wide. He's tried to put some whip on it. Just a little bit too high again. Way, way wide. Just not hit the target. Just gone over, over the top of the bar. But it's good to see him getting forward a little bit. Been watching Deli Alli, he's been making run after run after Would you be run. fair to say Sometimes against Ireland, England have been showing up? Him up every Absolutely. Time. We've been found out that Sterling. easy. But then again, we were probably found out in the um, first game and the third game. We've only got it right once so far, and that's the 45 minutes of that second half against Wales. We got it right, and that's why we won the game. But we just keep getting it wrong. Why hard turn that will need the chains? It, oh my god. I think James Vardy must come on, bring Sterling off. Oosh. Or should we go back for this game to the 4-4-2? Four, four, when we whatever Glad Hoddle said there, we're not counter. We're not doing the counter-attack, we're not playing quick, we're playing slow, we're not playing in our positions. Too many players have played out of position tonight. And that's another problem for England. So the ball's with Iceland. Oh my god. Well, England have got the ball. Can they make something happen? No, they can't. And it's a chance for Iceland. He's all over Danny Rose, and it'll be our free kick. And it'll be a booking for Iceland. Rightly so as well, Clyde. Rose wanted to get on with it. England would have been round the back in a good position and uh, professional foul there from Sigurdsson and yellow it's card. It's Sigurdsson a couple of years at top. with a yellow card. There's two of them in the team tonight, of course. That's the foul he's got booked for. The other one the played game for game. played for Swansea and played for Tottenham, one of their best players. Right, and now England have a chance for an equaliser. Good delivery straight in the box. And that is absolutely 
pathetic. Very quickly upon Chris Smalling, who is very close to the goal. Has a better ball I mean, while young, you thought, why players. is Chris Smalling in there? He has pulled his shirt, but it should be Harry Kane, Sturridge, somebody who can score the goal, not a defender. I'm starting to get a bit confused here. And it's going to be a. F it's going to be. Well, I don't know what happened there. I thought it was a free kick to England, but. <sighs> Referees give a foul. I think he wanted to see whether the, he could have played the advantage, but uh, decided to bring it back. So in a way, well, it's a free kick to Weiss, and I thought that was our free kick. Unbelievable. Here comes the Iceland goalkeeper. He's going to kick it upfield. And it's got out for a throw in to England. Carl Walker's going to throw it back in. Very eventful first half remaining. Too eventful for England's liking. And it's kick down the pitch by Iceland and he's gone down holding his face Bodfinson, I think that's his name I can't be sure on that number 15 for Iceland oh and it'll tap with a head there It's right to do that, Clive, but we're going to bring James Vardy on. We need to change right. things at half time. Ball. This has been absolutely humiliating. But can't take it. nothing away from Iceland. They're 2 1 in the lead, and they do deserve it because they've taken their chances. England now playing it again from the back. They're moving it. I don't know. Carl Walker. Back to Gary Cahill. Oh, come on, England. He might just stick with his original hand for a little while longer tonight. Oh, God. Now the Chris Smalling. He plays it up. Here goes Rooney. Rose, Rose going to run, He's, what can Rose do, can he keep it in? Oh, well, I don't know, was that a foul? Gunny Arson looks like he definitely shoved him. He's from it's Iceland and he does look like a back. Viking we'll just missing the hat. There and press them. I would say let one of them have it. Let them play it in there. This is what they want, a long ball and a fight for the second ball. I'd rather let them play out there and see what they're, see what they're capable of. England still looking pretty ineffective. Iceland hoofing the ball up front. It's back with England, a bit scrappy now. You think you'd seen worse at Jilly though? <laughs> England having the play from the back. Cross the small in. He's now going to play over to Rose. Rose doesn't know where to go. To Dyer. Um, he only finds a nice little player. But now Rose has got the ball back on the uh, He switches it straight back to Gary Cahill. Plays it to Rooney. Going absolutely nowhere. Back to Rose. Three minutes to half time. Well, virtually not able to get this in their half. Cahill running it up. We're getting close. Will anything happen? Sturridge now plays it through. Easy catch for the Iceland goalkeeper. Came to nothing. 
Yeah, you can see he's got his head up. He's looking for runners, <laughs> and they had, they had good runners, good options. Just overhead oh, it a little bit. Good save from the keeper. Easy keeper in the end. Joe Hart having an absolute nightmare for the second goal. Should have saved it, no question about it. Now David Kay has got hold, he plays it into Rooney. Tries to play it through, but he comes straight back. I still don't look like the sort of team that are going to counter-attack, do they? They're definitely quite happy to play the long balls up. Try to get the throw-ins near their area and just launch it in and get their goals from there. Here it goes. Oh, come on, Sterling. Ali plays it back to Rose. Oh, Rooney. Come on. Carl Walker. See if he can get a good ball in the box. Can he take him? Yes, he can. And that is poor from Rooney. Yeah, Rooney's, oh, Rooney's he's hitting into the ground. And it's virtually into the crowd. And if England go out tonight, let's all get behind Wales in the quarterfinals. At the moment, he does look like that. England are sadly probably going to go out. And can Iceland get a third goal in the second half? Well, with some of our defending. Oh, it's a possibility. It is a possibility. Or could Iceland actually get a goal right now and make it go into the break 3 1 up? Iceland with a very long ball. It's poor, but they got a throw in and they are dangerous. Oh my god, half time. Is this a shot? Is this a surprise? 2 1 to Iceland. Wayne Rooney scoring from the penalty spot. Lead lasted just two minutes. From a long throw and some poor defending from England to make it 1 0. And then a weak shot outside the box. Creeped under Joe Hart. He should have saved, but it's 2 1 to Iceland. Oh, let the humiliation continue. I'll be back for the second half. UEFA is